Good morning and welcome to our morning prayer. For this time of prayer you will need a response sheet which you can find in a link above the video screen. Please join in with the words printed in bold. So let us come before God. The world belongs to God, the earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful to live together in unity. Love and faith come together, justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Move among us, God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. You, God, are the word behind all words the calm at the core of the storm, the energy that sustains creation. You are present in the pain behind the tears, in the laughter in the eyes, the yearning of the heart. All these you share, yet your gift to us is so much more. So open us up, God. Open us up to depths we have not explored, truth we have avoided, paths we have not followed, beauty we have yet to admire. Open us up to you, God, in whom all things are held together for good. And trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I want my life, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive us, Christ renew us, and the Spirit enable us to grow in love. Amen. And now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil, for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Listen now in the reading of scripture for the word and wisdom of God. Our first reading this morning comes from Psalm 33, reading verses 12 to 22. Happy is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen as his heritage. The Lord looks down from heaven. He sees all humankind. 
From where he sits enthroned, he watches all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of them all and observes all their deeds. A king is not saved by his great army. A warrior is not delivered by his great strength. The war horse is a vain hope for victory, and by its great might it cannot save. Truly the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and shield. Our heart is clad in him because we trust in his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. And the second reading this morning is taken from Paul's letter to the Romans, reading from chapter 8, verses 14 to 17. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received a spirit of adoption. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very Spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if, in fact, we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. For the word of God in Scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, thanks be to God. Let us pray. Gracious God, you call us to support one another, to offer comfort in times of need, reassurance in times of fear, inspiration in times of challenges, and confidence in times of doubt. Forgive us when all too easily we do the opposite finding fault, running down, criticizing and condemning. Teach us to recognize people's gifts and nurture them, to understand their problems and share them, to acknowledge their successes and applaud them, to appreciate their efforts and affirm them. Teach us to help people believe in themselves, to discover their abilities appreciate their worth and fulfill their potential. Help us to give and to find encouragement and inspiration in our reaching out to one another and to you. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. And together we pray the prayer for Fridays. Ever-present God, set your blessing on us as we begin this day together. Confirm us in the trust by which we rightly live. Confront us with the truth from which we wrongly turn. We ask not for what we want, but for what you know we need, as we offer this day and ourselves, for you and to you. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. We go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God in community, holy and one. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. I hope to see you again at our service on Sunday morning for Pentecost. 
We will take a little break now from the morning prayers for a little while and then hopefully um, come back with them again when times are a little bit quieter for us. Thank you for joining me this morning and have a good weekend.